recording. <laughs> ah, good morning, fam. It's a great day. We are driving. As you do in a car. Driving in the car last night. Sweet Bear, what are we up to today? Well, we're headed to the Burbs because I have, I have a baby shower. Not for you. Not for me. I'm not pregnant, people. And then John's going to drive to Iowa. I am. I'm going to speak at the University of Dubuque tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and then I drive back. So, in and out burger, you know, that's Oh, not, that's why not would you right say now. that? Yeah, inside voices. Why ma'am. would you say that? Do you know how rude that is? Ma'am, inside voices. Ugh. Maddie. It's okay. It's really nice out. I don't know about really nice. It is really nice. It says 40 a degrees. 40. But in the sun, it feels at least 43. And then she gotta go, well, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's no 94 like Phoenix. I wanna move. I love Chicago. I love Chicago. I don't want the weather. Okay, bye. Can you see I have a little Is that a little dog? Is that no jumping? No jumping. Oh, you should see my bruise. No jumping. No jumping. He was so excited. Dad, I got a bone. Dad, I got a bone. Dad, I got a bone. Hi, Bubba's. I missed you. I got to leave you again, but I missed you. Hey, team. I am going to drop buckets off at my parents' house, and then uh, I have to drive three hours to uh, Dubuque, Iowa. I wish you could come with me to Dubuque. Do you want to go to Dubuque? Do you want to come with me? Get sleep in your eyes. Hey, give me a kiss. Thank you. As Sweet Bear says, some people call that gross. I call it love. See you in Iowa. <laughs> Hey team, I made it to Dubuque. Pardon me, I'm, I'm changing. I'm changing my pants while I do this. But I'm really excited for tonight because tonight I am sort of previewing what is gonna be like a brand new, like hour long tour show. Um, for those of you who went to see the Godless Generation tour back in October of 2015, you know sort of the style of performance slash sermon slash spoken word that I'm talking about. And I've been working on writing sort of a new show for a little while now, and I'm very, very excited to be sort of previewing that tonight, uh, sort of for the first time. It's sort of the first time that I'm putting it out in front of people uh, to see how it's received, so. And to be totally honest with you, I, I was thinking yesterday and I was debating like, should I just do the keynote I did yesterday, tonight, and then it'd be easier, and I know it's good, and I know it works, but that just seemed like the easy thing to do. And, and at some point, if you wanna try something, you gotta do it for the first time, and that is usually the scariest time you do it. And so I, I figured, you know, I, I gotta be a person that lives, and an artist that lives with courage. And uh, so tonight, I'm gonna step out and we'll see how this thing goes. It's definitely not ready. Like, I'm going out there, this isn't ready, this isn't finished at all. Um, but I'm gonna put it out there and it's gonna be, this is where I'm at tonight and hopefully it goes well. But more importantly, hopefully I learned something from it. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's time to go. Except, hold on. Check out this antique spoon collection in this house they got me going to staying in. 
pretty intense. I'm not gonna use any of these to eat my yogurt in the morning. Time. Oh, hold on, hold on, there's no good lighting. All right. Give a shout out. What do I have to say? I don't know. What do you want to say? I'm if you could, okay, this is a question I haven't asked in a long time. So if you could say one thing to a couple thousand people, what would you say? <laughs> I'd probably tell them to keep seeking God because um, you can't do things without Him and you need Him in your life. And I know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. And He's just absolutely amazing. Yes. And you want to do any selfish shout outs? Um, Maybe to Buckets. Oh my gosh, Buckets is so adorable. <laughs> I fed that to him, I fed that to him. No, but my name is Brett. Yeah. Right, go John. You're the best, Brett. Thanks, man. Oh, hey team, I'm back. This fridge is amazing. It's like the perfect height for me, almost. I wish I could be like here, but it's almost like the perfect height for me to like use as a tripod. This is amazing. And look, I can do this. Whoa. It's kind of like, come for a walk with me. So, welcome to my special. It's gonna be great. Oh, sorry. Anyway, uh, I'm back now, obviously. Uh, it went well, I think. Uh, I, I kind of sat down while I was eating dinner afterwards and I sort of went back through my script and I marked what worked, what didn't work, what was good, what wasn't good, it, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed myself, so so thank you to everyone at University of Dubuque. I gotta get up tomorrow and do the chapel service, doing a little bit of a traditional sermon type thing, so I just ran through that. Feeling very excited, but also feeling very tired. Uh, sleep is gonna be important this week, in this marathon of a week. So, I'm gonna go to bed. I get up tomorrow, I do another talk or two, and then I drive home again. It's a crazy week. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. I love you all. Keep being awesome.